Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Luis Chavez. I'm a photographer and filmmaker based out of Southern California. And this is my reoccurring series on all my favorite photos of the month. And when I started this series, it was never my intention to take tons and tons of photos every single month, but to just get myself out there and take more photos than I would if I wasn't working. So every month kind of varies and this month's a little bit more slower, but I just wanted to share a couple of the photos I really enjoyed taking this month. So the goal of the series was not to take tons and tons of photos and to just say that every single photo that I take is the best photo that I've ever taken, but to just kind of uh, reflect a little bit on the month and see what kind of things that I like shooting and just kind of the things that I would like to continue shooting in the future. So this first photo was taken in the same city that I always frequent. So this is taken in Claremont, California, and this is park that I always come across on my walks with my dog. So um, on this particular park, there's always sunlight beaming whenever it's sunny outside. So I always try to take walks around that time just to see kind of what I get. And people gather in this park quite a bit. Um, so I always try to see if there's anything interesting that I can shoot. So on this particular day, um, the sun was sh shining right through the trees here. And I would just want to take a picture of this tree. And then I noticed that there's a couple of people kind of that look like they were just um, like doing some kind of like dance uh, or something like that. It looked very interesting to me. So I wanted to take a photo of it, but I didn't want to be like the main focus. So I kind of wanted to be like, uh, the scene is just the park and then just whatever is sprinkled in there. So this photo was taken with the Leica Q2 and it was taken at 1 800th of a second at F1.7. And sometimes I just kind of forget to uh, change my aperture and um, so this is not normally how I would shoot it. I would probably shoot it at f4 and above, but it worked out anyway. So I think that it really kind of shows the depth of, uh, of the scene. So um, the focus is right here on uh, past the tree and into the people that are actually behind the tree. So I thought it was a pretty interesting photo um, with the focal point kind of being this tree, but not kind of just, uh, it, it's a little busy, but I really, really like it. So um, yeah, this is a really nice photo that I, I enjoyed this month and all for, uh, something different that I want to kind of show with this um, my series kind of show what I did to the edit so this is the photo before I edited it and this is the after so you kind of see what kind of things I do in post and uh, what kind of what uh, the photo looked like when I was taking it so this next photo, if you watched my last video, you've seen this already, but I just want to talk about it a little bit more. So the, for the last video I did, I took the Rico GR3 and I just shot around and kind of showed you all the photos that I take typically on a walk. And just to kind of show uh, the various different uh, pictures that I would get uh, if I'm not out just shooting uh, for the day. So this particular photo was taken as I was walking down the street and usually these streets are pretty empty, but I saw from the corner of my eye, this old lady walking and kind of crossing the street. So I kind of wanted to get her in the scene, but not to be again, the focal point of the scene, just to kind of um, add a little something extra to this. So I just waited around a little bit to uh, have her a little bit closer to the edge of the frame or to the center of the frame. So. Um, She's a little uh, not in the center kind of how I wanted it, but I think it still paints a good picture of um, this particular day. So I really enjoyed this photo. So in this photo, it was taken with a Ricoh GR3 at uh, 1 250th of a second at F4 with ISO 100. So um, again, I'm going to show you what the photo looked like when I took it and what the photo looked like after I edited it. So yeah, this is a, a photo that I really like this month. So this photo was also showcased in the last video. I also wanted to talk about it. It's this picture of this poster of a movie for Frida Kahlo. And um, I was just walking down the street and I saw this light that I really wanted to capture. And I just wanted something interesting. So I kept walking a little bit longer and I saw this pop of red, which happened to be a movie poster in between these two kind of like pillars. Um, and then just kind of the sun hitting it at different uh, points and then the, the shadows kind of adding a little extra. Something that I would critique this over a little bit for my own sake is I wish this planter wasn't there, but it kind of adds a little something extra, kind of like a little mystery to the, the scene or something like that. So I thought it was uh, pretty interesting with the different colors and shades. So yeah, this uh, picture was taken at 1 1,000th of a second at F2.8 and ISO 160. And again, this is the picture before I edited it and then the picture after. And all these pictures, again, they're shot in raw, so they have a little bit more wiggle room whenever I edit them. Even though I don't do that much to them, um, I still kind of want to have that latitude and um, that extra dynamic range. So this next photo was taken with the Leica Q2. And on this particular day, it was pretty overcast. I want to take a picture of something that was a little bit different. So um, both my cameras, the Ricoh GR3 and the Leica Q2 have macro functions. So I just thought that this was really fit, fit the scene 
of all this green here and just a pop of pink in the middle with this flower. So yeah, I always forget how good uh, photos look in macro mode. And it just kind of makes me uh, be more intentional with the way I shoot and to kind of implement macro mode a little bit more. So that's gonna be like a challenge for myself uh, going forward. So I really enjoyed this photo because it's just not something that I usually shoot. And yeah, I thought it was pretty interesting. And again, this picture um, was taken with the Leica Q2 at 1 1 60th of a second at f2.8 and ISO 400. And this is the photo um, right out of the camera and the photo as I edit it after in post. So this next photo was taken by the coast here in California. My wife and I were actually scouting for a session later in the day. So we came across this beach and I just took a quick photo of this beach because uh, it was pretty empty. And again, a lot of the stuff is pretty empty. It's not usually like this here in California. It's a pretty like touristy area. So I was, I always want to take photos of areas that I frequent with less people. So I want to take a quick shot of this. Not that I was um, pretty nice and even with the yellows here with the sand and the blues here with the beach. And this photo was taken with a Leica Q2 at uh, 1250th of a second at F4 with ISO 100. And again, this is the before and the after. So this is the before and this is the after. So this next photo was also taken on the same day. And this is also, and uh, this is in Santa Barbara actually. And it was on this cliff side that we took the couple in and we I just happened to see a bunch of people kind of having a good time at the beach and we were just kind of elevated. So it was pretty interesting to see it in that, um, uh, that perspective. So I want to take a picture of that with the um, kind of like the water being the, the main thing that you see with some of the beach uh, on the side. But I also kind of wanted to focus that I was here on this cliff. So I wanted to kind of layer that in this frame. So as you can see, you can see a little bit of the people, um, you know, small here in this beach and then a bunch of people surfing on the horizon. So yeah, I, I was really proud of this picture with the golden light that we get here uh, with the sunset. So this picture was also taken with the Leica Q2 at 1 800th of a second at F1.7 with ISO 100. And again, this is the before and this is the after. So, and this is another shot from the same session. So this uh, photo was taken onto the right side. This is a lot more uh, stuff that was happening. He does, here's a parking lot and kind of the beach on the, uh, on the edge here. And we haven't had a lot of like sunny days at that point in California. So I just want to take a minute, as many pictures as I could. So yeah, I thought it was really interesting to see this cliff with the greenery here and then just right before sunset. And so, yeah, I was really lucky to see this kind of sunset uh, on this particular day. So I want to take a picture of that. And again, this picture was also taken with the Leica Q2 for shutter speed 1 1,000th of a second at f1.7 ISO 100. So this last photo I wanted to show you was uh, a picture from the actual session. So uh, as you guys all know, I, I'm a photographer. Primarily, do, I do weddings and portraits. So I wanted to just kind of showcase that here on this channel because I don't really show that. I usually show a lot of stuff with no people in them. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of showcase the kind of frame that I would do. So kind of. Um, showing you what I would do, kind of seeing the scene and kind of wanting to uh, do like an environmental portrait with the couple. So this kind of is like a mixture of the last two photos I showed you. So the couple here in the center and just on the cliff side here, and you can see there's more cliffs on the back and with the sunset in the background and the beach, I just wanted to kind of like um, show everything together and just kind of uh, make sure that the picture is uh, nice and even. And so, yeah, I was really proud of this. I was really proud of the edit. And as you can see from the before and after uh, shots here, for, so this is the before and this is the after, and just kind of show you what I would do uh, for an actual uh, like a paid session. So I usually do a, lot, a little bit more to kind of um, uh, balance the shot. So yeah, I just, I was really proud of this photo. So I wanted to showcase and kind of show you guys um, a little bit of my work. So yeah, that's all the photos for this month. And again, I don't want these series to be just me showing you every single photo that I took because, you know, when you go out and shoot for all types of photography, you don't always come back with uh, photos that you're necessarily proud of, especially when you go out and do street photography. But the point is to keep going out and shooting and just kind of honing your skills and just uh, perfecting that type of photography that you are proud of and just uh, keeps you on your toes and just uh, you continue to get better and better over time. So thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. And if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.